to my channel and welcome to another foundation review as well. Um, yes, I am joined today by my very dry lips. Accutane is doing a number on me today, but that's okay. I have never, ever, ever tried a body shop foundation or makeup product in general. So this will be really interesting. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing their new foundation. It's their, I've got to look at my little phone here. It's their matte clay skin clarifying foundation. They did give me two samples. So they've given me an 026 and they've given me an 034, but neither of these numbers are on the website. So Mm, that's great. It's meant to be one that's really great for imperfections. So it has skin clearing properties. So things like tea tree oil, which purifies the skin. It is 100% vegan. Woohoo! Uh, apparently it's got Moroccan lava clay. I have no idea what the hell that is, but there we go. It's in there. A couple of other things I'm really interested in is apparently this one here gives a full coverage. So it'll be really interesting to see if it does give full coverage. Also, it says that it's meant to last for 24 hours. I'm not gonna wear it for 24 hours, but I'm gonna be wearing it for a long time. Sorry if the lighting isn't like super profesh. I'm sitting at the kitchen table and I just don't think, just don't think these lights are reaching me. I need a ring light and I need to get my bra on the right way. All right, that's 026 and then 034 on the other side. I've just noticed that there is a very strong scent of tea tree oil, which it says it contains, but it's kind of, it's not just tea tree oil. It's like it's tea tree oil and something else. I'm gonna go with the 034, which is this one here, just for shits and giggles. I don't know, let's just see what happens. I don't know how much I'm gonna need. There's no pump with this product. I think it just comes in a little tube. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how well this does apply with the sponge, because a few of the last foundations that I've tried, I haven't actually been completely sold on the whole sponge business. It does kind of, it doesn't slip and slide around my hands either, which is kind of good. Yeah, well, it does definitely smell like tea tree oil, but it's something else that's in there. Oh, I don't know, I have not smelled that scent before. Well, it's covering up my redness pretty well and fairly easily too. I'm hoping that I've actually got enough now to cover my whole face because I might be on Struggle Street. That is one side of my face done. That compared to that. I think it has given me a pretty even coverage. I haven't noticed any kind of patchiness when I was applying it using the sponge. It was really easy to kind of get it on and move it around. Um, I don't feel like it's kind of sticking anywhere and um, I didn't have to really beat the hell out of my face to get the product on either. So now I'm going to go in with a brush. Please foundation gods, may I have enough foundation in this little container. Got it all there. Here we go. So I do like to dot it on and then give it a buff. I'm not gonna have enough foundation, holy crap. It's super, super interesting how some foundations you really don't need very much and then other ones just do not go the distance. Like the one really good thing about the Kat Von D that I found, even though I wasn't a fan of it when I used it, you don't need much of it. So it's, it's gonna last you a while. But some of these other foundations, they're quite cheap. Like this is only $19 in Australia and that's an amazing price for what I hope will be a great foundation. Um, but I'm needing a lot of it. I'm almost out of all that foundation. And again, I haven't even done my neck yet. Get as much as I can. I wanted to film three other videos today and I'm gonna look like a hot mess. Okay, cool, cool, love it. So that is the coverage there. Yeah, so sponge versus brush. And this is probably the first time in a long time, but I actually do think that the sponge gave a better application. They say that this is a full coverage foundation and I guess it would probably get in, you know, I think it would probably just just slip into that category. It's interesting also using brush with this one. So this side here, it actually 
it feels a little bit tighter. It feels, it feels a little bit different. Um, this side here it feels really natural and normal. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing foundation at all. But this side here, uh, like it, it really does feel like something's going on. I don't think that it's ox that it's oxidizing, so that's a good thing. But maybe I should have gone with the lighter shade just to match my neck a little bit better. Okay, so now the test begins. It is. A bit past 11 o'clock. I am going to put a pressed powder on top as I always do, just using my Australis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder. Same old, same old. Let's see how this wears, guys. Let's see how we go. Yes, I have like fully done up my face today. It's a bit crazy. I don't usually do this, but doing it today. Ladies and gents, possibly. Okay, so time, 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 time. Let's have a look. Oh, just dropped something. Awesome. This is the brush side. And then this side here was the sponge. All right, I'm gonna take my goggles off. Let's have a little look. Uh, remember, I can't actually see anything right now. <laughs> so this is up to you to judge. All right, I'm gonna go and have something to eat and wash all the dirty dishes. And then I don't know what else I'm gonna do. I'll be back soon. <laughs> I am back. Hello, hello. Although you've just been here the whole time and it's just me who's gone away and come back again. Oh my gosh, it is almost almost 11 p.m. That means that this has been on my face for almost 12 hours. That is a good test. That is a real good test. P.S. Excuse these lips. They're really like, yeah. Let's get you zoomed in. Overall, really, really happy with this result. The sponge application is still looking ever so slightly better than the brush application. Is there any oiliness? No, I can't really see, like maybe there's a little teeny tiny bit of a shine happening, but it is so minimal. I can barely tell. Um, my skin doesn't feel slick or anything like that. That's really impressive. It's definitely stayed matte for this whole time and I love that, it's awesome. The coverage has remained for the whole day on both sides. If I move my face around, it's not like this, the foundation is separating, it's it's very flexible, it's, it's, yeah, it's doing what it's supposed to do. My little laugh line, minimal, absolutely minimal. The foundation isn't sort of sinking in and it's not separating. Another tick, my goodness me. Maybe, maybe because this is like, they're talking about how this contains clay. Like that's something that's helping to um, mattify the skin. Maybe that's why, but I do feel it. As pro probably more so actually on the brush side of things. Not so much the sponge, but the brush. I feel this foundation on my skin. So when I move my face and I talk and I eat and I smile and I loll, I can feel the foundation pulling. It doesn't look like it's put, like it's not separating when I move. When I, you know, I do stupid stuff with my face, I can feel the foundation there. I can really feel it. I kind of wish that I could try out some of the other things to do with this foundation. Like it says it's got blemish fighting properties because of the tea tree oil and the clay. If, if a product is going to work on those parts of your skin, you really do need to be giving it at least, you know, two to four weeks to see the result. And this is just a uh, first impressions, first time, I can't test for that. Couple of things that I'm not sure about. Just, yeah, the fact that it definitely does feel like you're wearing foundation, it is, it kind of pulls on the skin a little bit. You need to use a lot of this stuff and it only comes in a tube. It's definitely not a case of a little goes a long way. No, a lot goes a little way. <laughs> so although it's $19 and that's a really bloody good price for a foundation like this, uh, you're gonna be using a lot of it, but I think it still ticks a lot of good boxes. It ticks the boxes that you probably want it to tick. I would be happy to recommend this one to you guys and I, I would even be happy to now purchase this if I went into the body shop again. I would probably purchase this foundation myself. Please feel free to give us a like and also subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can actually get my videos in your feed. 
because they're just not getting there. I know they're not. Got any other suggestions? Let me know down below and I look forward to catching you all next time. Have a fantastic rest of the day, everybody. Mwah. Bye.